As Johan Cruyff explained, everything that goes on in a match, except shooting, you can do in a rondo. The competitive aspect, fighting to make space, what to do when in possession and what to do when you haven't got the ball, how to play one-touch soccer, how to counteract the tight marking and how to win the ball back. The first drill is called the rondo pressure drill. So basically you have a team on one side playing keep away and the defenders come from the team on the opposite side. If the ball is given up on that side, a coach plays a ball out to the other side and that team then has an opportunity to keep away from the opposing team. As a coach, you can say that a team can earn a point if they hold on to the ball for a specific amount of time or connect a certain amount of passes in a row. That way you've got two teams competing against each other to try to win and do their best. As a coach, I always love having that competitive aspect amongst my team because I really think the spirit of competition brings out the best in my players. The second position drill is called find the killer pass. To do this drill, you need two teams. One team with the ball is going to have more players than the defending team. And basically in this drill, the offensive team with the ball tries to move the ball around and play and keep away from those defenders. And then when an opportunity presents itself, one of those offensive players can run into the middle and receive a pass for a point. This drill really teaches players to be patient and then finding that killer pass when it's on. You don't want your players to force the ball, but rather being patient, keeping possession of the ball. And then when the opportunity presents itself, that's when they can go in for the kill. With drills like this, be sure to rotate players so that the same players aren't playing defense all the time and that everybody gets a chance to work on the various aspects of this game. This is the two team against one possession drill. All you need to do for this drill is set up a large grid and you create three teams and what you do is you have two teams team up against one team that is going to defend against those two. It's that simple. The two teams play keep away from the one team defending for a certain amount of time, trying to see how long they can keep the ball or how many passes in a row they can complete after the time is up, rotate the team in the middle and see which two teams when working together, can complete the most number of passes. One of the great things about this drill is that it always ensures that the team that is working on possession has more players than the defensive team, and that inherently makes it much easier because in order to keep possession of the ball for players that are trying to develop that skill and experience success, it helps when the defense has less players than the offense. Oftentimes with possession drills, I'll find myself adding neutral players or all-time offense players to really ease the burden on that offensive team and to help them experience success. Keeping possession of the ball with more advanced teams and more skilled players, you can reduce the number of offensive players to make this tougher for them to keep possession of the ball. Another way to adjust the level of difficulty is the size of the grid. If you have a very large grid, that means the players on the ball will have more time and more space to make those decisions and that will make it easier for them to keep possession of the ball. If you want to make this drill very difficult, make those spaces smaller and tighter, and that is going to force your players to think more quickly when the ball comes to their feet.